What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I'm uh, just heading home. Happy New Year to you. I want to address something that's really important today. Um, you know, have I've been hearing? I've hear, been hearing a lot of talk here. Um, you know, by uh, NFL pundits about why did the Detroit Lions are such a great franchise and would be such an attractive franchise for a coach to come to. So obviously, Caldwell's been let go. We are in the, on the hunt. Um, Terrell Austin just left, so we, we're, we're going to have uh, at least uh, more vacancies than we, we thought, um, you know, as of a week ago. But hey, here's where I want to kind of bust the myth. I think Detroit is the last place any coach worth his salt wants to go, and I, I, I will explain to you why kind of the logic is, uh, sound sound, but the conventional wisdom is, is, um, uh, is different. Now, actually... Uh, one of the arguments I've heard is that because, you know, you've got a top-tier quarterback in Matt Stafford, you've got this offensive line that um, has the power to fire on those cylinders, right? You've got, to, you know, some free agents that look like you could resign, and defense has been um, pretty strong for most of the season. Uh, you have the components. You have a winning record, you know, a decent record uh, by the numbers, but it wasn't able to come together to kind of win the division. And so it's like you're really close on a lot of fronts, and you're looking for a coach that can really optimize and kind of unlock that potential. You know, same thing I've said before, right? That is what we need to do. But the problem is, who wants to come in uh, to a team that uh, a lot of people just say, hey, we just need a nip tuck here and all of a sudden we're going to be a supermodel. You know, no one wants to do that, right? Because the expectation is too high. That's why uh, the Chicago Bears were able to get someone so quickly. Um, you know, and they would have been able to get kind of anyone in some cases. Uh, that's also why they think they actually got a pretty good coach in John Fox because their expectations were so bad after Mark Trestman, right? Uh, the problem is, and Mark Trestman, I think, sucked, but uh, the problem was, you know, Lovey Smith wasn't the guy at the time that they thought was going to get them to a Super Bowl, you know, and I think Lovey Smith was let go on a 10 and 6 year. And so the reality is whether or not Trestman would have been good or not, uh, you know, I think any coach kind of comes in with uh, the wind in their face, right? You know, a, a very strong headwind in that they need to do really well. They need to have a, a you know, a 12 and four or 13 and three season to look like it was a smart move. And so that is the, that's the problem, right? No one wants to come in that way. You look at the, I'm going to say the St. Louis Rams, and that's for you, Dr. Rice, uh, but the LA Rams, uh, you know, you look at them coming off a terrible season and, you know, issues at quarterback and, you know, it's ironically kind of funny now that Case Keenum is really kind of lighting the world on fire. Uh, but, you know, Sean McVay had nothing to lose, man. You know, the Rams were uh, kind of looked at as in disarray. And so anyone could come in and kind of do better than that. And then they had a pretty good season, one, you know, uh, loss in the playoffs, but they got there. And so now Sean McVay looks like a genius and he may be a football genius, but I think part of that not only is coming in and unlocking the talent, but it's also coming into uh, a setup with the right expectations. And the problem is um, the Lions uh, across the board you know, have expectations and Lions fans and Lions management have expectations that I think any coach is kind of walking into some sabotage on, right? So unless you come through and have um, now go into the playoffs at least, at least with one win, right? Um, I think anything less than that is going to look like a failure next year. And so that's the big problem. That's what makes the Detroit Lions coaching position, the head coaching position, so unattractive. And that's why I think Matt Patricia, who knows that he could be a good coach, wants to walk into um, – a, a team setup that's going to make him look like a good coach and that's why you know I think the rumors that are saying that he wants to go to the Giants you know which are kind of a dumpster fire uh, it makes more sense one I think living in New York would be more attractive than Detroit but two it's also kind of setting him up to setting him up for success setting him up for a few years of success as opposed to coming to Detroit where he needs to be successful right out of the gate so that's my that's my opinion on it and uh, I think that's going to be, um, you know, tough for Bob Quinn to, to convince, you know, someone who, you know, has to put a lot on the line and uh, maybe young and has the fire, but is kind of worried about longevity in the NFL to come in and kind of take the reins, uh, you know, in Detroit. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get Patricia. I'm hoping 
because I don't know who is a better candidate right now. And I definitely am not backing off my idea that getting rid of Caldwell was the right move. I don't think he was the right guy. I think he had, in totality had lots of game management mistakes that we just needed to uh, move on from and in a lot of ways missed opportunities in the post to get to postseason when we could have had them. But um, I think the Detroit Lions, as Detroit Lions fans, I think we're making it tough to get a coach. And I don't care. We need a great coach. Great coach! I'm not standing for any of this crap of uh, ending the season on a whimper. That's it. My opinion. Go Lions. Peter Van Fandau.